All right. Looks like we're live, huh? How are you doing? I'm Boris. I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, you know, the NASCAR team. You're on their channel right now watching. Well, today, it's time to draw some race cars. We're getting closer and closer to the real racing starting again. In fact, this Sunday, some of our uh, team members and drivers will be heading to Darlington, South Carolina. Playing it very safe, taking the necessary precautions, but putting on a great race. That's on Sunday at 3 on Fox, so I hope you're going to tune in. But in the meantime, I figured uh, we're at home, we're staying safe, we're staying indoors, and we should do something fun. We should pick up an old hobby, and for me, that means drawing. And for me, that means drawing race cars, because that's one of the things I love to draw. How about you? You ready to draw? We've been doing this for a few weeks now, many weeks now. In fact, you can catch all the episodes on YouTube if you missed some, but today... We're going to draw a special race car. I was watching my buddy Christopher Bell race last night on iRacing, and he was racing winged sprint cars on dirt. Have you ever seen one of these? The winged sprint car? Look at that thing. Can you see that pretty well? Yeah, I know it's a little dark, but he's driving that black car there, so it blends in with the dirt and the mud, but he was sliding this thing around the virtual digital turns at uh, the Charlotte dirt track, and he picked up the win. And so I figured... Maybe we should draw that car, because we haven't drawn a race car like this before, have we? We've drawn the NASCAR cars, but I think it's time to draw a dirt sprint car in honor of Christopher Bell's big iRacing win last night. So, without further further ado, let's let's jump into it. What do you say? I'm reading your comments. So glad you're out there. I see Pamela's out there watching from Las Vegas. Thank you for tuning in. James. Uh, James wants to draw Kyle Busch's car. Tomorrow we are drawing Kyle Busch's car. Let me tell you, it's going to be his new special car, by the way, as well. So stay tuned, James. All right, we got Ricky out there in Mobile, Alabama. All sorts of people watching. There's Matthew, Devin, Daniel getting ready to go racing. Well, I'm drawing on an iPad with the Procreate app, but you can use, you know, a pen and paper, markers, color pencils, whatever you have, chalk, um, your finger, if you have some finger paints, whatever you need to draw with, you make it happen, all right? So to start off, we're going to draw Christopher Bell's car. Let me take it one more look at it here. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Look how far the wheels are turned in the front. They're almost at a 90-degree angle to the rears. That's because they slide sideways in the turns. So, oh, boy, let's, let's give this a shot. Lots of squares and rectangles to draw on this car, aren't there? Okay, well, let's start with the front line to draw the front axle. That's going to be the easiest thing. So I'm going to draw a line right about there. Give it a little bit of an angle. Don't make it too wide. This is not the bottom of the car. This is the front axle. That's the part that connects to the front wheels. Helps them turn, helps them spin, all that stuff. All right. Next, what do we want to do here? I think, who's out there? Tony's out there, Len's out there, Elia's watching. Danny, they're all joining in. I appreciate it. We're getting ready to draw here. All right, so we've got that front axle in there. We need to now draw a front wing. That's what I think. So the front wing is going to be up above the axle, and it's going to be like this. It's basically a, an angled rectangle. So draw a bottom line to it, and then draw a top line like this. Okay? We're just starting with a bunch of lines. I know they kind of look like they're floating in the middle of nowhere, but I promise they're going to come together. And then you connect your angled lines. Connect the top and the bottom. You've basically just made a, uh, what do they call this? It's not a rhombus. I guess it's just a parallelogram, isn't it? It's an angled rectangle. I'm sure there's some name out there in geometry that I've forgotten since I was in school, but, but that's what I'm calling it today. So that's the front wing. These wings help push that fast race car into the ground and uh, keep it stuck there so Christopher Bell can fly around the track. Of course, Christopher Bell is our competitor in the Cup Series this year, but he's still a Toyota racing teammate, so we figured we would draw his car. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit because we're going to need a lot of space up here for this big wing that's on the top, okay? So make sure you leave some space up here at the top. All right. Now we're going to give a little bit of a gap so Christopher Bell can see in between these wings. And this is the, going to be the bottom of the big wing, so we want to draw it a little wider than the bottom wing. Okay? And I know this doesn't seem like it's going to be a race car, but stick with me. You have a line at the bottom, a gap, 
and then a square, and another gap, and that's going to become the big wing, all right? So just like we talked about, draw another line up here, like this, about the same width as this line. Whew, a lot of lines, I know. Trust me, it's going to look good. And then just connect them again, just like that. All right. Very nice. Looking pretty good, I think, already. I can kind of tell how this has turned into a sprint car. Okay. Let me see here. Am I going a little too big on this wing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shave it down just a little bit. See, it's alright to make some mistakes, fix some things up. If you can't erase, if yours looks perfect, don't, don't erase it. Don't worry about it. It doesn't really matter how big the wing is. I just think mine was a little too big. Alright. What's next? What's next? Well, we got some side wings. We got the front, and then we got the sides of the wings. So let's do that. So right over here, I want you to draw a line up and down like this. See how that worked out? It's kind of like a bed. It looks kind of like a bed you'd sleep in, but you have those lines going like this, then draw some up and down lines on the side and then connect them like that. And just like that, we have a blade on the side of our wing. That also helps with air. It helps with the side force, the air coming in from the side. These help with the ones coming in from the front and the air that he hits from the side when he slides. That's what these blades are for. And each side of our, our box is going to have them. So simply draw lines up and down. See that? Just a line up and down like that on each side. And then you connect them. We're going to have to do that four times. All right. There you go. Four times, four blades. Now you can fill those in in black if you'd like. I always tell you this, but if it takes you a long time to fill in, don't get stuck filling in right now. You can save that for the end. I know I'm able to fill in a little faster than people can with a pencil or a pen because I'm using an iPad. All right. This is a fairly simple car once we get all the lines drawn here. Okay. What else do we need here? Now I want to draw a bar from this bottom line all the way to the top of the wing up here. That's just a bar. That's called a roll bar. Helps keep Christopher safe when he's racing. Just draw them like that. Okay? And then draw them at the front to make kind of an H. See how we kind of have an H there? Look at that. Oh yeah. This is a weird looking race car, but they go fast and they are mean to watch. All right, next line, next line, next line. So, where this line is, remember this line? You watching? Just draw another line going down, kind of like an A. Kind of like that. Okay? And then, make an A line right here. So if I'm going to draw an orange, you can keep drawing in whatever color you were drawing, but just so you can see what I did, we had a line going from the bottom of the wing tip all the way up and we made the letter A. Look at that. See that letter A? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Hopefully that'll help you draw that line. All right. Next, I want you to go in the middle of your wing here and draw a line straight up like this. These are all the bars that protect Christopher Bell, because these cars go so fast, they flip over a lot. You'll often see them flipping over, and so you got to keep the driver safe in there. I'm going to turn my A-line back to black. Like that. All right. Next, before we go any further with the chassis of the car and the driver, I think that we should, um, we should draw these wheels, because they are going to be a little bit challenging, I'm telling you. Now, do you remember the dot method? All right, the dot method means you draw top, right, bottom, and left dot. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to want you to start with the left dot, and it's going to start right where this bar ended. So there's a dot there. 
Okay. The top dot is going to come about here. The right dot is about over here. And the bottom is going to be down here. All right. See how that worked out? And now all you have to do is you just have to connect the dots. It's kind of a curved shape, a little bit like a banana. Doesn't have to be perfect, just connect the dots the best you can. I missed one up there, but that's all right. That's one wheel. Look at that, look how much turn to the right. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? These cars are wild. All right. And then the next one, got to do the same thing. So we're going to do a dot. Let's see here. Hmm. This dot's actually going to start over on our H back here. See that? It's in the middle of the H. Kind of crazy. But this line has to go to the middle, which is about there. Then one exactly over here. You can measure with your pencil to see how far the lines are if you want to. Or if you just want to freehand it, I think you should do that. No, no, no problem doing that. There we go. So I got my dots in there, and now I'm just going to connect them as best I can. I'm not going to go into my wing though. We got to leave some room there, but we can bring it back up like this. Connect them like that. All right. And now we've pretty much got our tires in there. Almost looks like a bicycle, doesn't it? I'm telling you, these are the race cars that you don't see very often. Let me give you another, another view of what we're doing here. Right there. See that race car we're drawing? That's Christopher Bell's sprint car. It's a little crazy, but we're giving it a shot here. We gotta put those rear wheels in now. See how the wheels are turned so far? That's what we drew, right? All right, let's get back to the drawing here. Next. We're going to draw the rear wheels, the rear tires, and they're pretty much a rectangle. So let's draw a rectangle back here. Okay. Let's go about halfway there, like that. And we only have to draw one, thankfully, because we can't see the other one. It's behind the car. But we're just drawing one. And then I just want you to give it a little bit of a curve, like this. Just a little bit of a curve. See how I did that? Drew the rectangle, and then I gave it a little bit of a curve. And then a little bit of a curve the other way. There we go. And I'm just going to fill that in with a black color there. All right, yours looking good? This one might take a lot of practice. It's unique. These are called sprint cars, winged sprint cars. And I watched Christopher Bell win in one last night on iRacing, the, the virtual racing simulator game. So we're drawing it today. Why not? You know, just having fun, trying something new. That's one of the ways you stay fresh and you improve as an artist, is you try to draw things that are difficult and try to draw things you've never drawn before. So for me, I've never drawn one of these cars before. I needed some practice and I thought it'd be good to practice with you all. I just did some lines in there to make some shading. All right, let's get that driver in there. I'm gonna draw a line across there. And now we just have to draw a little rounded area for his helmet. He's actually sitting right in there. That's where Christopher Bell would be sitting. So I drew a, a rounded helmet in there. I'm gonna draw the visor. He's peeking through these wings, going really fast. Oh yeah. Sea Bell, they call him. Christopher Bell. One of the best winged sprint drivers in the world. Now on the tires, they have grooves in these tires because they're going through the dirt. So I'm going to put some swooshes up like this on these tires. Give them some grooves. Make them look good. You're also going to need to draw a circle in your front wheels. I'm freehanding it, but you can do the dot method or you can freehand it. Draw however you want. Practice makes perfect. Just don't give up. Even if it doesn't look like you want it, you can always do another drawing later. You hear my bird out there? I'm now a bird parent. A bird landed, parakeet landed in my backyard. And uh, we tried to find the owners, I haven't been able to, but now I have a bird making a racket over there. I still don't have a name for it yet, but 
So it goes. All right. Sprint car is looking pretty good, isn't it? Good deal. Now you can turn this sprint car into whatever color sprint car you want it to be. Um, I'm going to put Seabell's number up here. He's got a number 21 is what he drives in sprint cars. So I'm going to do a box like this. You know how we do these numbers, don't you? Just draw a box wherever you want that number to show up. We're going to divide it in half. Now the one's at the back this time, so I'm going to make it look like that. And then I'm just going to fill the number in there. He has a cool looking number 21 up here. There it is. And just like that, we have the number 21. That's Christopher Bell's number in the sprint cars. All right. Well, this car is pretty much all black and white, isn't it? Which makes it pretty easy to color in if you have pencils. There is an orange stripe up there for the JBL logo, but um, pretty much black and white everywhere else. A lot of gray and then a lot of dirt in the background. So I think I'm going to uh, start coloring. How about you? You got your grays? I'm going to use a dark gray instead of a black. That's going to help me because our lines are black here, but I'm going to just start filling it in. So I'm going to fill the top of that wing in. That, whoop, 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 whoop. Let me fix what I'm doing here. Filling in the top of this wing. And of course the background is going to be mostly brown because of all the dirt that's flying around from Christopher Bell racing on dirt. There we go. I'll leave the number white. Even the sides are a dark color, they're black, so that's the color Christopher Bell's been running, so that's what we're going to run on our drawing, too. Draw some swooshes in the wing. Very nice. I'm going to fill in the middle of the number in black, too. That's how his looks. Pretty cool. Even the tires are gray. I mean, this is a mean, looks like the Batmobile, doesn't it? Mean looking car, all right. Tires are gray. This is probably the easiest car I've ever had to color because there's only one color on it. It's black and white. Actually, there's actually orange up here. I take that back. So let me let me put the orange up here just to bring this car to life a little bit. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna choose a darker gray for our wheels, get some swooshes in there. Flying through the air. Hopefully not through the air. Down the track, I mean. All right. What color is his helmet? Is his helmet black too? Or not? His helmet's kind of a dark black with some with some blues in there. So I'm just gonna put some colors in there. Put some swooshes in there. Get some blue in there. Looks like he has some blue on his helmet. Christopher Bell. Very cool. Get a blue visor in there. All right. You have a number on the front. No, we're just going to put some white in there. I'm not going to write out all the sponsor letters, but um, just going to put some white in there. Just going to do some swooshes in there, like that. Look at that. At the front. He's got JBL up here, so we're going to put that up there. Yeah. All right. It's coming together. How's yours looking? I bet yours looks pretty good. This is a little more of a silver color, so I'm going to lighten it up down here. Add some shine in the wheels. Add a little shine on the tires too, why not? He's racing under the lights, so we can give it a little a little shimmer, a little shine, just to bring it to life. Alright, now, let's put some dirt in there. He's racing on dirt, so we might as well make our drawing a little dirty. Alright, here we go. You know what? I'm going to pick a dirt color here. Or, excuse me, a dirt shaped brush. I know, I can do that. Let me see how this looks. Oh, yeah. That's got some dirt look to it, doesn't it? Look at that thing. 
Woo. So you can use different kinds of pencils or brushes or maybe chalk or pastel to make your dirt just like on an iPad where you can pick your colors. You can do that in real life, of course. I'm just going to make it look like he's flinging this dirt all over the place. Dirt and mud and all sorts of stuff. Christopher Bell. Sliding. It's a really cool brush, isn't it? Makes it look like dirt. There we go. Yeah, I like how that's looking. Alright. I'm going to go back and pick a different color, a different kind of brush here. Just to get a little darker with my dirt. There we go. Put a little shadow in there underneath the car, make it look like it's stuck to the ground a little better. Oh yeah, looking good. We'll see Bell tearing it up, isn't he? Go even darker here at the bottom. Make that shadow even darker. Looking pretty good if I do say so myself. All right. I'm trying just new things I've never worked with here. It's always fun to try new stuff, see what comes of it. Pick my brown again. Oh, yeah. That is looking good. Holy moly, that's a big one. Look how big that is. Whoa! Now I'm getting crazy, aren't I? Look at this thing. That is wild. I'm going to actually draw over this and erase a little bit. You, you, you just do what you need to do over there. I'm just doing my thing here. I'm actually drawing over it a bit, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to erase over it so we can find that car again, because I like how this made the car look kind of dirty. There we go. Crazy. Look at all that. Looks like he's flying through a big cloud of dirt there. All right, looking good. Well, I didn't expect it to go in this direction, but I really like what happened here. That's the cool thing about art, isn't it? You just don't know what's going to happen. Just like that, we've got Christopher Bell's sprint car, dirt car, coming to life. I'm going to add some white because he had some reflections on this car that I think would show up pretty cool like this. And some reflections going across all this bodywork here. Look at that. All right. Very nice. Alrighty. Well, just like that, Christopher Bell, Bell's car is done. I can't believe it. That went really quickly. How'd yours turn out? I'm going to read some comments here. I've been so focused on the drawing, I haven't read any comments. I'm going to sign it. And just like that, Christopher Bell's race car is all done. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Race it on dirt so we use a dirty brush. <laughs> okay, folks, let me see what's going on out there. How are y'all enjoying this drawing? Did you do a good job? Yeah. All right. Make sure you post your drawing in the, in the comments or email it to me. Janae's watching in South Boston. Debbie's watching. Oh, Debbie wants to do a Carl Edwards car. Maybe we can do a Carl Edwards car one time, Debbie. That's a good idea. Well, we're all done for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed today's drawing of Christopher Bell's dirt sprint car. He won in it in the uh, iRacing series last night. So, there you go. All right, everybody. Have a nice day. I'll catch you later.